Hey guys, it's Jean here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you a quick tutorial on how to draw different expressions for your chibi character on your iPad using Procreate. Now let's get started. I'm gonna turn on the grid here. For this tutorial, I just need to show the head of the chibi. So let me create the template real quick. Showing basic shape for the head guidelines for the eyes, and finally adding the hair. I will make several copies so that we can cover a wide range of emotions. That's probably enough. Now I'm going to merge all these layers together and turn down the opacity so that we can focus on drawing the emotions. And we want to be working on a different layer. With the chibi head on a separate layer, we can always come back and create new expressions later on if needed. Alright, first, let's draw a normal face. Next, I think I want to make a happy one. For the third expression, how about feeling surprised? And then love or daydreaming for this one over here. Let's add some bad or negative expressions also. We'll make this one angry. This one can be nervous or cry. I don't know, for this one, I kinda wanna show a playful one. And this one right here, maybe feeling sick. Oh, I like this emotion a lot. I think I use it on a few of my previous drawings. I'll call it bored. Let's do a more complicated one. This can be confused. Next stop, how about scared? Finally, let's make one for excited. And we could be done right here. But what I like to do is to go back and add these little symbols to the expressions. By doing that, we can exaggerate and add clarity to the emotions. So the audience will then have a better understanding of what the character is feeling and the emotions that we're trying to convey to them.
And that wraps up today's video. I just wanted to share this little fun exercise with you guys and show how I would draw different emotions for chibi characters. Also, I like to point out that you can modify the expressions to your own style and liking. There are so many different ways to create these expressions, so just draw them however you like. I think it's a good idea to keep a copy of the collection as reference. It might come in handy later on when designing for your own characters. And that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fun and helpful content. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care guys.